Hello and welcome. In the video today, we're going to be doing exercises with the Pilates circle to challenge not only your lower body, but also your upper body. The sequence of today is absolutely fine for the second trimester of pregnancy. But at any point, if you want to just continue, if you don't feel 100%, just skip um, the exercise that you are doing and, um, and, and rest before you carry on or just continue all together. So let's start. So you wanna have a Pilates circle. Uh, you're gonna start with your legs shoulder width apart and then just gonna place the heels of your hands on the circle. You wanna have some tension on the circle so you're pressing lightly into the circle to the point that the circle will not fall off. And then you're just gonna bring the arm up and down. Yeah? So you're gonna keep the knees slightly bent and when you bring the arm up, you want to feel that stretching across the shoulder, but you want to maintain the integrity of your trunk. So you're gonna maintain the position of your spine as you bring the arm up and as you bring the arm down. And you just want to allow your breath to flow. Yeah, so you're gonna keep inhaling and exhaling as you bring the arm up and down. So you're just gonna do two more repetitions. Yeah, really having that sense that you're lengthening further from the top of your head towards the ceiling. Next time that you have the arm up, just hold there, and then you're gonna press the circle as you bend your elbows, and then you bring the arm back up. So, bending the elbows, bringing the arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Yeah, just gonna do two more repetitions. Nice, one more repetition. And bringing the arm down and just going to some shoulder circles. So you can hold the circle with one hand and just go for a big circle. So you bring your shoulder towards the front, up towards the ceiling, towards the back and down towards the floor. Yeah, feeling the motion of your shoulder blades. And then we go the other way around. So you circle around, bring your shoulder blades as close together as it goes. And bringing forwards. And just allow your shoulder blades to rest in the back of your rib cage. And you're gonna bring the circle one more time uh, here. Yeah, so lightly pressing the circle. So now you're gonna bring the circle towards your chest and forwards. So you think about bringing your shoulders back first, then you bend the, el bend the elbows, and then you bring the arm forward. So inhale. So keep allowing your breath to flow as you go through the movement. Nice, just gonna do two more repetitions. And really feel your shoulder blades going closer together as you reach the elbow towards the back of the room. Nice, bringing the arms down and just bringing your heels uh, together in a first position. And we're gonna move one leg each time, yeah? So with your right leg, you go heel, toe, and then you go back in, heel, toe. Yeah, and just feel that. So if you place your hand on your hip here, you want to feel that, the internal rotation of the hip and the external rotation of the hip. So you're partially weight bearing in one leg as you move the other, yeah? And then we're gonna use and move the other leg. So you bring your heel out, then the toes out. Yeah, and feel you're like moving from that hip socket and out. Yeah, so keeping the knees lightly bent, having the weight distributed between both legs really. And allowing your breath to flow. Yeah, and now we're gonna move both legs together. So heels out, 
toes out, toes in, heels in. So alternating uh, right and left leg, toes in, heels in. One more repetition. Next time that you have your toes out, we're going to hold here. And you're going to grab the circle between both hands. And we're going to bend the elbow. So initially, you're just going to keep the circle here close to your chest. And you're going to bend the knees and straighten the knees. So start with a small movement. And feel free to deepen that movement if it feels OK for your body. As you bend the knees, you want to think about pushing your knees out. Yeah? So you're engaging from here for the back of your glutes. And as you straighten the knees, you want to think about bringing your heels close together. And you can press a little bit more on the circle as you straighten the knees. So you're kind of bringing the heels of your feet close together, but also the heels of your hands a little bit closer together. And we're going to add that same arm movement that we did from, um, from uh, the beginning of the, the video. So this time, as you bend the knees, you reach the arms forwards. And as you straighten the knees, you bring the circle towards you. So you have a little bit of coordination going on here. Feel free to just do the leg, although just do the arm. If, um, you, you feel there's too many elements going on here. Yeah, stay with your breath. Stay with the actual elongation. And really spread your toes across the floor. With each repetition, if it feels okay for your body, just go deeper into your grand plie, into that double knee flexion. Two more repetitions. Nice. Now we're going to go down and we do two arm uh, movements before we go up. Yeah, so down, one, two, and up. Down, one, two, and up. Down, arm one, two, and up. One more. Lower arms. One, two, and up. Well done. Bring your legs close together into parallel. Reach the arm up towards the ceiling. So now you can hold more towards the fingers. And we're just going to go into some side flexions. Small side flexions here with both arms. Holding the center, bring one arm down with the circle as you reach towards the side. Yeah, and we keep changing arms. Reach. Finding your rhythm by focusing on the breath. Nice. One more repetition. Good. Bringing the arms down, the circle down, and bringing your legs a little bit closer together. You're going to reach the arm forwards. You bring your circle back towards the heel of the hand. Slide the leg across the floor first, and then bring it back down. Yeah? And then change, slide the leg and bring it back down. It feels a little bit um, wobbly and you prefer to do without the circle and just holding the wall, that's a good option. Yeah? So you're just lengthening the spine, we are sliding the leg forwards and we're going to add on in that same movement. Yeah? So, next time that you slide the leg, so you slide, lift, tip of the toe, and down. Slide, lift again. Don't feel that you need to lift the leg. 
slide lift and we're gonna add the upper body yeah so you press the circle a little bit more as you are lifting the leg and then you slide you can lift the leg and the arm slide lift the leg and the arm again don't feel the need to add on you can keep the leg on the floor and just lift the arm yeah that's another good option last repetition and we're going to go all the way around so you you reach yeah so now you can hold the circle with your thumb and your fingers and you're going into a small side flexion yeah and you're rounding the top of your spine yeah so it's just the neck the thoracic spine here as you circle around and then we go the other way around so side flexion softening the knees softening the knees last repetition nice and bringing your legs close together lift the shoulders all the way up and let it drop all the way up and let it drop one more repetition and let it drop well done so that's the short workout with the circle i hope you enjoy that a little bit of coordination upper body lower body and yeah let me know how it went you can check it out uh, the other pregnancy videos and have a, a wonderful day thank you